The UN estimates that 3.4 million Syrians are being hosted in Turkey. They arrived with nothing but the clothes on their backs over the last six years. The Turkish government has allowed Syrian refugees to stay, trying to desperately provide for their needs. But it's not an easy task. NGOs in Turkey have proven themselves invaluable as they've shared much of the burden in a crisis that is still ongoing. They've taken action in many areas, including the delivery of basic needs such as food, but also in education, health and business as well. Many NGOs have created specific programs for different needs, some providing Turkish language courses, others distributing clothes and others teaching adults skills they can use to find employment. Dr. Mehdi Davut is the president of the Syrian Noor Association and personally works closely with refugees. He stressed that when it comes to aid, there's no room for discrimination. At the camps, we don't ask anyone if they're Sunni or Alawite. There's no such thing. We ask, do you need a tent? We have one, so you are welcome. That's all. For refugees, one major issue is undoubtedly health. <laughs> Communication between doctors and patients is a critical problem. If the patient does not clearly understand the doctor, he or she cannot heal. Medical experts also emphasize that it's important for Syrian refugees to be treated by Syrian doctors, as some illnesses are specific to regions, and Turkish doctors may not be familiar with the treatment that is required. Humanitarian Relief Foundation, IHH, is another organization that has been working to support Syrian refugees across the country. The NGO has a factory at the border town of Kilis that produces and distributes loaves of bread in the hundreds of thousands. IHH focuses on medical issues as well and has a prosthetic center. Many refugees suffer from bombing and IED injuries and have lost their limbs. This, of course, can have severe effects on their lives, both physically and psychologically. It's important to come back to life, especially for children. This is crucial. After giving a child a prosthetic leg and doing exercise with him, it brings us such happiness to see him then playing football. In 2008, one of the main focuses both for the Turkish government and for NGOs will be the education of over a million Syrian children currently in Turkey. Michal Bardavid, CGTN, Istanbul.